Hey Star Wars Action Figure Collectors, it's Dark Phoenix 619 coming at you with another review. And this time I have the Toys R Us exclusive Battle Pack Ewok Pack. And a wonderful, wonderful set. Before I get on to the review though, quick update. Um, my last video, I mentioned that was coming up to my 200th video. And I uh, asked what people wanted to see and most people decided that they wanted to see a Q&A. So why not? Be fun to do a Q&A. So, beginning with this video and the next few videos until I get to 200th, I'm just going to remind uh, my viewers to please leave questions below in the comments that you'd like me to answer for that Q&A video. Um, just go ahead and drop it in the comment box, and or you can personal message me. Either way is fine. And uh, I'll remind other people or people as they watch my next few videos to please leave a few questions. Okay? So, there you guys have it. So, on to the review. Um, got this recently at Toys R Us been looking for it for months. It was released last summer. Must have been at Toys R Us numerous, numerous times. Never saw this until recently. And since I, since then, I've only seen it once. Reed Souls for $39.99. Very popular pack with collectors, and I'm very happy to add it to my collection. So, let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging, which I really love. Um, probably be throwing away the box, but I really do like the diorama scene in the background of the Ewok Village. Looks really cool. So... Just haven't figured out what to do with it yet. Okay. Ewok pack. We get Flitchy, Nanta, Tebow, Nisa, and Tippet. And then there's a little scene there with the Ewoks in their village. The other pilot pack that I'm not interested in. See a lot of those. And then there's the uh, little synopsis there that you can pause and read. If you'd like. All right, so now on to the figures. So, kind of, kind of go in order of my favorites. So, hopefully this won't be too, too long. But, all right. So, okay. So first of all, let's go ahead and begin with um. Let's see who do we have here? Forgot his name already. Uh, Tippet, an angry Ewok. <laughs> yeah, Tippet was seen in the Expanded Universe Marvel Comics, and is a cool little figure. He's got really dark brown fur, angry expression on his face, and a really nice cowl there. Okay, got some tusks of of some sort of animal. Uh, pretty much a repaint of an older Ewok figure. Can't remember off the top of my head. Okay. And then he comes with a spear. And a dagger. Okay. He also comes with an alternate cow. Which is really nice too. But I do prefer the one that he has on. Just a little more uh, original in my opinion. But I like the weathering. It really looks like weather, um, leather. It's a really nice cowl. Okay. And he has a ball socket head, ball jointed shoulders, uh, swivel wrists, a swivel waist, swivel hips, and two ball jointed ankles. So cool little figure. Taller compared to some of the other Ewoks. Very nice figure overall though. Alright, so next we have, uh, let's see, let's go with this guy, Nanta, formerly known as Scorpsy. <laughs> of course, in Return of the Jedi, he's the one who's shot by the ATST, and uh, a fellow Ewok, forget the name of the Ewok, comes over and mourns his death. Okay, another repaint figure for the most part, he comes with a spear. And that's it for his accessories. Oh, dark face there, black eyes, really nice facial sculpt on this guy. And once again, a great cowl there. A little bit of detail on top. And you can see some stripes, gray and black on his, um, on his body. Okay. Um, Nanta also has a ball jointed head, ball jointed, ball hinged head, 
ball jointed shoulders, swivel wrists, swivel waist, swivel hips, and ball jointed ankles. Huh? Very cool little guy too. Um, next we have Flitchy. And we do see Flitchy in Return of the Jedi also. Uh, rising out of a bush, if I remember correctly, holding an E-11 blaster rifle. Um, mine pack didn't come with it, which is, I guess, a packaging error, but I wasn't going to leave it <laughs> uh, a minute on card. But mine was actually missing the blaster. It wasn't tampered with, it wasn't in there at all. So, Flitchy came with no blaster, he's just holding some random blaster, which is too bad, but it's not I can live with. Really cool face on him, too. You can see some teeth there. He's a Kit Bash figure from previous Ewoks. Nice brown fur. Really like the cowl there, the wrinkles and whatnot. Looks really nice. Um, the uh, sheath is attached to the hood itself. So, of course, this is removable. All the cowls are removable, of course. And then um, it comes with this knife. Looks really nice, fits really nice in here. Nice green color there. So, he also comes with an alternate cowl. which has that um, feather on top and another satchel here so really cool we get all these accessories that's really makes the pack I mean you're looking at eight dollars a figure you know but with all the different accessories you can really mix and match these guys okay next Tebow who comes with a tons of accessories and Tebow is a repaint of Logray it was released in 2010 as part of the Vintage Collection, which really upset fans because they were really looking forward to a new new figure for Tebow. So, I mean, it's I like it a lot, mostly due to the accessories. I can deal with the fact that it's a repaint. But, um, I mean, yeah, it would have been nicer to get a more screen-accurate version of Tebow, but like I said, I can live with it. So, really nice paint job. I guess it could be a bit darker, but for the most part, really nice. Really love the hood on this guy. Awesome. The feathers and the teeth and the tusks. Really cool. Very nicely detailed. He's got the necklace. He's got um, this horn here. Okay. That, of course, he uses in the movie. So that's really nice. So it's got the battle horn. And he's got this sheath right here with a knife. I can take that out real quickly. There you go. Nice little knife. Uh, two drumsticks. He also comes with a battle axe. You got the thread wrapped around the rock. Very cool. And a different uh, cowl, which is very similar to this one, except it has, um, you know, more leather, I guess, attached to the neck area and the shoulder area. So, really both nice headdresses. Really, really cool. Okay. Uh, tons of articulation on him. He's got ball jointed head, ball jointed shoulders, ball jointed elbows, swivel wrists, swivel waist, ball jointed hips, and ball jointed ankles. So the addition of the hips and the and the elbows is really nice. Okay. So great little guy. And then my favorite one of the pack, believe it or not, is Nisa. Such a cute little <laughs> Ewok, of course, from the uh, expanded universe Star Wars Ewoks um, comic books and whatnot, and she is real cutie. I mean, that facial sculpt is really nice. She's she's pretty much a repack of of Wicket with a new head sculpt. Really love the detail on the face. It's, uh, I mean, best best facial sculpt in the entire pack. A lot of collectors are really happy with this figure. Got this coral, somewhat pink. Um, cowl slash cape on here some stitching there which is really nice a little detail there is really cool nice paint job uh, you've got this um, I guess bandolier with a ro rock tied to a rope which is really nice too okay so a bola that's what it's called and you get this alternate headdress, which is nice, but definitely not as cool as the one she's wearing right now. Okay, she's got really good um, 
Um, you got a ball jointed head, ball hinged shoulders, swivel wrists, uh, ball hinged tips, and ball hinged ankles. So some great articulation here. So okay, so there you guys have it. Hope you've enjoyed this review. Um, hopefully it didn't drag on too long. But excellent pack, highly recommended. Definitely worth picking up if you can find it. Um, I mean, it's great, amazing pack. I'm loving these Ewoks, trying to get a lot more. I think I'm up to eight now, so that's awesome. And please remember, please leave your questions below for the future Q&A. And appreciate the feedback that I got in my last video. Thanks once again. And until next time, you guys, please subscribe, like, favorite, and comment. And may the Force be with you.